Hello, my name is Rachel Akello and I'm a UK-based solicitor specialising in immigration, nationality and deportation law. And today I want to talk about deportation. Deportation is what most people, obviously, when you want to come to the United Kingdom, want to avoid. So I want to look today at how does this happen? How do people actually, who come to the United Kingdom, end up being deported? And I've got another video where I talk about the difference between deportation and removal. You can find that video on social media. But today the issue here is deportation, it's not removal. So when does deportation actually take place? Deportation will take place if the UK government, through the Home Office, feels that your presence in the United Kingdom is no longer conducive to the public good. And they will then take action to have a deportation order made against you to ensure that your removal from the United Kingdom happens as soon as possible. And it will then ban you from reapplying to the United Kingdom for as long as that deportation order is in place. And typically that would mean 10 years. So a deportation order once made will not expire in most cases for 10 years. So who can be subject to a deportation order? Well, typically the people that I have and the people that I want to speak to today are in particular young black and ethnic minority men. We all know, let's keep it real, that the criminal justice system does treat young ethnic minority and black men a lot harsher than it treats other people that it comes into contact with. So you can therefore say that if you get arrested, if you commit an offence, get arrested, get charged and go before the court, you are likely to have a harsher sentence. And it's the sentence that matters in deportation law. It is the case that you can have a deportation order made against you, even if you don't commit a criminal offence per se, but for other reasons, the Home Office feel that your um, presence in the United Kingdom is not conducive to the public good. If they feel that you're involved in terrorism, sometimes it can be a lot of petty offences that build up over a period of time. But particularly, if you go to prison for more than a year and you are not a British or EEA citizen, European citizen, if you go to prison for more than, if you have a prison sentence for more than 12 months, then the Home Office will actively seek to deport you. They will start by writing to you in prison and they will say why, they will ask you, why do you think that you shouldn't be deported? Because as far as the law says, as far as Parliament says, because you've gone to prison for a minimum of 12 months and you're not a British or EEA citizen, you should be deported automatically and straight away. This can take place at the beginning of your sentence, at the middle of your sentence, or at the end of your sentence. The Home Office, when they get around to you, will want to ensure that when you are leaving prison, that you leave on a plane to your country of origin. And it really doesn't matter how long you've been in the United Kingdom. And this is the important part, because we do see people who come to the United Kingdom as babies, commit a series of offences as young people, continue with that behaviour and into their early teens and early 20s. And then the Home Office, if they go to prison for more than 12 months, will write to them, no matter how long you've been here, and say that we want you to be deported back to your country of origin. And for a lot of young people, that can be very scary for a few reasons. One of them is because often they've come to the United Kingdom with their family members, with their mother, their father, because they came here as children, so their family members are here. And then they're going to now be deported back to their country of origin, which they really don't know. They have no idea about it. So you're going to have to think about that. If you are a non-British citizen, in particular non-British citizen, if you go to prison, have a criminal conviction and go to prison, you can be deported from the United Kingdom back to your country of origin. And it, the times are different for European nationals, but they can also be deported as well. So what can you do? Well, obviously you can not commit the offence in the first place, keep yourself on the right side of the law. But if you do have a deportation order, then you need to check whether you've had a prison sentence for more than four years, because that's the next marker. If you have a prison sentence for more than four years, then your removal from the United Kingdom is almost guaranteed. 
because anything between 12 months and four years, any prison sentence between 12 months and four years, and you can use the right to family life, the right that you've been in the United Kingdom for a long time to say why you shouldn't be deported. But anything over four years, and you will have to show something in addition to just the length of time you've been here, or just the fact that you've got a wife and children here. You'll have to show something stronger than that if you've gone to prison for over four years. And over four years, your deportation order may not expire at all. So what you can do if you have a deportation order, because a lot of times I find that people get a letter from the Home Office saying that we're going to deport you. Why do you think you shouldn't be deported? They could have been here for, say, 10, 15 years, and they don't take it that seriously because they don't realise that when the Home Office write to you and say, we are going to deport you, that they are actually planning to deport you. So a lot of people don't take that very seriously, and they then write some ad hoc letter to the Home Office as to why they really think they shouldn't be deported, which may be valid reasons in their mind, but it doesn't confer, comply with immigration deportation law. So it's not really going to help your case. Yes, it could be a sad story that you've been here all your life, you're going back to a country that you don't know, but unless that's what the immigration rules are looking at in your case, then that's not really going to help you. So I would suggest if somebody is in this situation and does end up in prison and has a letter from the immigration that we are going to deport you, they take it very seriously and get legal advice straight away. Because if the Home Office continue, then they will issue a deportation order. And a deportation order can be very difficult to challenge. But how would you challenge it? You would apply for the deportation order to be revoked. We do these sorts of applications regularly, um, but not lightly. You must have proper grounds for your deportation order to be revoked. It could be, and it often is the case, as I've just said, that people haven't presented a proper and full case to the Home Office, and that's how they've ended up with a deportation order. So we can apply for the deportation order to be revoked on those grounds. But you really have to ensure that you understand UK deportation law when you are seeking to challenge a deportation order. Otherwise, you will find yourself being removed from the United Kingdom, no matter how long you've been here, and you may find that you're not even in a position to make an application to come back. Because if you have a deportation order and you're removed from the United Kingdom, then you sometimes will have to wait 10 years to apply for that deportation order to be revoked so that you can come back into the United Kingdom. Okay, so whilst you're being deported, the Home Office could seek to remove you um, physically remove you even though the deportation order proceedings are ongoing and many people know that uh, now you have a right of appeal um, and the Home Office, the courts have said that people may have may have an ability, opportunity to appeal from within the United Kingdom and that it's unlawful to force people to leave the United Kingdom when they haven't exercised their right of appeal but in some cases they may not even give you a right of appeal. So if you are involved in criminality, the moral of the story is to stop anyway. If you're not British, then the moral of the story is that you could be deported back to your country of origin. And you need to be very mindful of that because a lot of young people are, um, are calling the office and really shocked that the government, the country that they know and love, is effectively throwing them out. But it can happen and it's very serious and it needs to be taken very seriously. So my name is Rachel Okello. I'm based in Rogel Solicitors in the Jewelry Quarter in Birmingham. We do offer a free case assessment um, and you can get that through calling the office on 0121 3894 You can go to our website www.rogols.co.uk and you can follow us on all the social media channels. Don't forget to like the page, follow us on YouTube, like us on Twitter, and, um, and you can even find us on LinkedIn. So if you need any further assistance, this was just a general information. If you need specific advice about your own case, then do feel free to call the office for an initial free assessment. Thank you and have a good day.